This right here, guys, is the only website that I use when looking for cheap tickets abroad. Stay locked in. Hey, what is good, what is good, what is good, beautiful people? Of course, you know who I be. Good doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again, once again, instant classic in the making. First time to the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe, notify, do all the good things to make yourself well-versed in the good doc's content. Everything you should need to know about me shall be listed in the links in the description area below. Now, as travel season is upon us, I think a lot of us choose or opt to travel around the springtime and summertime. Some of us choose to travel a little bit later on in the year, but as travel time is among us, as summertime has hit, I've been getting a lot of questions about the websites that I choose to use in order to find cheap and or affordable tickets for traveling abroad. And today, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I'm gonna tell you the one website or the one app that I have on my phone right now that I only use when looking for cheap tickets abroad, all right? Now, before we get into it, guys, I understand that the pandemic has somewhat changed the way a lot of us are choosing to travel. It's kind of stunted our travel a little bit, and I completely understand where you guys are coming from in reference to you're not, know, not sure if you're gonna be able to travel this year or not. You're not sure when the borders are gonna open or not. I'm actually in the exact same boat, guys. I'm actually in the exact same boat. I don't know what borders are going to be opening up soon, especially when it comes to travel to the Philippines and traveling to other places. So all we can do is keep up with the news and we can keep up with the prices as we need to make adjustments as necessary. So the one website that I use religiously when it comes to finding cheap tickets abroad is Cheapo Air. Now, that's CheapoAir.com for desktop, and also I have the app on my phone for Cheapo Air. It's an easily downloadable app. Now, I got my phone right here, and you'll be able to see a screenshot of me going through it, but right now I've been looking at tickets um, for from the Philippines, I'm sorry, from uh, a round trip ticket from, you know, in my state here in North Carolina, Raleigh, Durham. Um, flying out of Raleigh Durham and going to uh, the Philippines and a round trip ticket and what I've been able to find is that the cheapest ticket that is available right now is actually a very very good price if you ask me $1,400 and at around $1,400 $1,500 if I were to purchase that ticket today now of course Doc is not purchasing anything right now because plans change all the time, but I'm definitely trying to get an idea of a mentality of what I could be poten potentially spending whenever I actually choose to make the decision on where I'm going um, and what time I'm choosing to go. So for the date range, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I chose June 6th through August August 1 or like August like August 1st or August 6th or something like that August 4th um, and for my round trip ticket and all together it's gonna cost me 1400 now when I used to go back to the back and forth to the Philippines before I used to only buy one-way tickets so I would buy a one-way there not sure or not knowing when I'm gonna come back you know to the United States I would just buy my one-way ticket on the way back whenever I made the decision to actually come back but you know all things depending it does pay dividends if you already know when you need to be where you need to be at to go ahead and purchase a round trip ticket just makes it easier as opposed to a one way trying to uh, split your time in and like you know lower the prices of your travel by you know going to a whole bunch of different hubs and destinations in order to get to your final destination and from my personal perspective just me thinking out loud trying to go from this place to this place to this place to that place trying to find the cheapest ticket possible may not work to your benefit because i think a lot of the uh final destinations that you end up in whether it be philippines korea thailand and places like that they're probably going to see the destinations at which you stopped in and you know the more times you stop the more potential exposure <laughs> you are likely to have with you know things that have been plaguing the country for the last year and some change so I think that in my personal opinion if you can try to find the minimal amount of stops possible for you to make you know if you can make a hop here to one international hub 
get to that international hub or that international hub take you where you need to go maybe one more stop or so you know maybe that'll work out three stop minimum you know for me when i used to fly before it used to be north carolina to jfk jfk to like somewhere in japan japan to manila and like i said there's only so many there's only so many limited stops that you can make um but if you can you know find a way that works best for you with the least amount of stops as long as you can afford it that's just my recommendation because i do believe that they're going to look at the places that you stopped and any place that is pegged to be a high uh infectious city or whatever it may be that may require you to be quarantined and all of that stuff now i will say this i'm not sure of what the reaction is going to be if you've already been vaccinated i myself have already taken the vaccination i made a couple of videos about it like i said no real reaction to it personally thank god i know people that have had some serious um adverse effects to taking the um vaccine so i understand those that choose not to but i also understand those that choose to do so and like i said i'd rather go ahead get it in my system and <laughs> see if it works so i can get my quarantine pass to keep it pushing you know um hopefully that will not stifle nor hold back my ability to travel from place to place like that again i don't know what exactly the vaccination means for me i guess we'll just have to wait and see all right but if you guys want to know the website that i'm utilizing right now guys cheapo air man cheapo air really does find cheap tickets like i said the ticket i'm looking at right now is going to cost me about 1400 round trip if i choose to take one-way trips that might cost me about nine maybe six eight nine hundred depending for one destination it'll probably cost me about 900 to go back so you'll see rather than me spending 1400 on a round trip or 1500 on a round trip that's going to end up costing me about 18 you know about 1800 now again I've been, I've been putting aside for this specific moment, guys. I've been waiting for this moment right here for me to be able to buy my plane ticket and jet set and go somewhere. So, you know, that's what we have the money for just in case prices fluctuate. So my expectation is when I finally do decide to lock in, go somewhere, go ahead and get season three started for you guys. Can't wait for that. Um, at least I already know that there's a potential you know couple hundred dollar fluctuation rate that i'm going ahead and calculating should i choose to make my decision sometime in may to fly out in june you know however it chooses to work out for myself all right i hope this video was helpful man download the app man i don't have a uh <laughs> an affiliate link i don't know if cheapo Air has one but if it does y'all gonna find that affiliate link in the description area below i just gotta look for it first if they have one but if not go ahead and download cheapo air the app on your phone go ahead and download it on your desktop or whatever it may be cheapoair.com that's always worked for me and i do believe that they present to me the fairest prices um for traveling abroad man for sure for sure but if you guys have other websites and things that you use that you think are pretty much beneficial in the exact same way that Cheapo Air is for me, leave it down in the comment section below, guys. Let me know what sites you're using. Let me know how beneficial it's been for you. I mean, even with Cheapo Air, I kind of collect these coins and points and shit. Don't know what it's for. <laughs> I haven't actually figured it out. But once I do, man, I will utilize it at the best of my ability. So, guys, if you have any other websites that you recommend, I use Cheapo Air. That's all I'm ever using. Probably not going to deviate from it. But if you have other places that could be beneficial to all of our fellow traveling brothers out there, leave it in the comment section below. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay true. Man, it's been a good doc. And with that being said, good doc is officially out. I at least not go by alone, which means I am going now. Bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Mahakita. Mabuha. Peace.